The most important thing in the hospital or at home, uh, and you know the person is going, or even if he's, he dies right away, first thing is you close his eyes. Usually they're open. Yeah. Close the eyes. His mouth is sometimes open. Try and close it. Or you tie a handkerchief or a, something, a ribbon, to make it tight. So you make tie it up. Close the eyes. The two toes should be tied also. So the feet remains this way instead of going that way. In the hospital, they keep the hands like this as a Christian. Don't do it. If you are there, put the hands open. on the open, open. Because see, in the hospital, they do it like this. Once the body becomes stiff, it's very hard to open it. So right away things, when you are there in the hospital, at home, it should be, these things are very important for the mayat. Okay. Now, once it's done, whatever the procedure here is, the mayat comes to the center here for gusal kafan. Okay. Now, once the mayat comes here, we look after the body, we do everything. The very first thing is, you have to ask the next of kin. You have to take the permission to do the kusal, kafan, and then once you get the permission, you can start the kusal procedure. Sometimes you may have to cut the trouser or the shirt to remove it because the body is stiff and you can't, so you have to cut it out. So even that comes into the permission that you have to cut it. Once, okay. Uh, Okay, now <clears throat> once you start taking the clothes out, eventually when you come to this part, you cover it up. So that part is covered. Now the body is completely without clothes. And the uh, maya should be face, facing the Qibla roof. Like once it's done, so the right hand faces the Qibla when you're doing the gosa. Or even the feet doesn't matter at that time. First thing, you wash the body with soap and water, just like you're taking a shower. So you wash it from you start it from the head, both sides, and then you turn the maya, do it in the back, uh, all over completely. Once you you're satisfied that there's no najasat or any stickiness is come out then the mayat is fine. So the very first part is cleaning it. Completely clean, now it's ready for the gusa. So we give three gusas. Yeah. What very first one is with berry leaf water. Yes. Okay, it's a good question. I didn't want to mention that now because it's, it's a different procedure. See, like let's say sometimes they have the tubes going in. The hospital have to remove those tubes. So now they put a bandage. We have to remove the bandage, wash it, and then re-bandage it. <coughs> if it's bleeding, you keep the bandage on, wash the body again. Then when you're doing the gusal, remove the bandage, do the gusal, Take the blood out, again put the bandage in, so the bleeding stops. But every time you do the gusal, you remove and re-put, so the, bleed, the blood doesn't come out again. So this, uh, as I mentioned, yes? So if we have wounds of our body, we do mass. when we do masa, when Sorry? we have wounds, like a cut or breeze, and our body, when we do uh, 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 masa. Why we cannot do a masa on on a mayat where there is a wound <coughs> and covered? Why we don't do masa? Why? Yeah. Why we should we should take off the uh, the the cloth and wash it and put it back? Why can't we? Because just do one masa for her. Yeah. No. Because that's 
we are doing the gosal. It's not a big one. There are sometimes, see, bodies come in an accident which is very bad. We cannot do the gosal. Then you have to, the way you sang, you do it for the body. That is called tayammu. Then we do the tayammu. It is only when the body is not possible to give the gosal. Minor wounds here and there, you fix it up, you do the gosal and close it up. That's all. Because you see, there's a, big, there's a hole here because of the tube. You don't need to do the uh, uh, tayammu on it. You do the gusal, close it, do the gusal, close it. At the end, once everything is done, then you dress it properly so it doesn't bleed and doesn't spoil the coffin also. So you put the tabs and all this so you have to close it up. Okay, okay so when we come to the gusal part, the first gusal is with berry leaf water. After the body is washed, the berry leaf water, that's the first gusal. So it has to be mixed in the water. So there's a slight smell of it. You can, when you, do, when you mix it up, you can feel it. You can smell it, the berry leaf. Uh, so we start with the just same as what you do as gusal e janaba, which everybody, any gusal you're doing it. You start from the head. You Put the water here, in the back. Make sure the water reaches in the ears, all the part behind, and once here, the neck. Then you put the water all on the right side. Okay? Right side. Yeah. Right side. Lift up the hand, do the hand also. It's also in the armpit also. So you make sure the water reaches the armpit. So you have to raise it up, make sure the water is there. So all this part is done. The on the right side. Then you have to turn it a little bit up. So then you do the right side in the back. Same, the gusa. Are you with me up till now? Okay. So that's the right side done, front and back. Then you're going on the left side. Same procedure, hand, armpit, all the way up to the leg. In the, when you're doing the knees, you make sure the water goes inside the fingers. The same thing, you lift it up halfway, like you go this way and you do the gusal on the back part. So that's first gusal. Then the second gusal is with the camphor water. Second is camphor water. So when you're doing the first gusal, you should do the niyat. I'm giving gusal to this maya with berry leaf water, with the TB, wajib kurbatan ilallah. So, my, uh, uh, niya is very important. The same thing, the second gusal, which is with camphor water. <clears throat> I'm giving gusal to this mayat with camphor water, with, uh, with tartibi, wajib, kurbatan, ilallah. The same procedure, the head, the back, the right side, the back part of the right, the same thing, left and the back part of the left. Okay? Question. Do you have to mention the name of the mayat or just the name? You can do it, yes. I'm giving gusal to this uh, mayat or what is, whatever his name is. Okay. If you don't, if you don't know that it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. But it should be this mayat, what are you doing with the gusal? Then the third gusal we come to, which is a plain water. So we did berry leaf water, we did camphor, and now we come to the plain water. Again, the same near. I'm giving gusal to this payat with plain water, with tartibi, wajib, kurbatan, ilallah. Same thing, the head, the right, front, right back, left front, left back. Now it's over. All the gusals are done, everything is done. We dry up the mayat with the towels. Now, as he mentioned, we have a cut here and there, so all this cut. Now you take the hand where I had bandaged it, take that bandage out, clean it properly, put a new bandage on it, and then tie it up with a uh, wraparound bandage, and then tape it so the, the blood eventually doesn't leak outside. The same thing, it could be here or here, on the leg or anywhere. 
If it is a couple of them, so you have to do for both of them. Once that is done, we dry it up, all bandaged up. Now my head is clean. This part goes away, we replace it with a new one. Because that's done. So we throw it. So now is the part time when everything is done. We bring the body for the coffin. So far okay? Everybody? Yeah. Any question? Okay. So this is done. He's ready for coffin now. Get up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, summer, summer. Like we, what two part all? He's confused that two part of the other. Wale, wale. Put the limb back. You can't take water, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Egg, no? Yes, yes, please. Ah, Tayamam. Okay, I'll come to that again later. I'll show it to you. Okay, so now we are ready for uh, Kafan. Okay, so now once everything is ready, the coffin is ready. The coffin consists of three parts. Three parts, which is wajib. Uh, chador, kameez, which is a shirt, and then uh, what you call lung, which is the way you wear it in the hajj. Okay, so there's three parts, and then you put the amama. But before you give the kafan, you have to give hunot. Hunot. Now hunot is seven parts of the body. Do you know anybody? What parts of the body you do to? Seven parts, yes. Like the way you go to sajda, all seven parts which touch on the ground, the forehead, two palms, two knees, and the toes. Now, we do the hunut with uh, camphor. Camphor, and if you have khake shifa, you mix it up a little bit in the camphor, with the khake shifa. So you start, I'm giving hunut to this mayat, Again, wajib kurbatan illallah. You put it on the forehead, his right palm, and then you put it down. The same thing, the left palm, the right knee, left knee, and the toes, right and left. That's hunot. Once that is done, we usually put turba or uh, Yasin or Sure Room, whatever on his chest, which is written on a paper. So we put it on the chest and then we start covering up. Now covering it up, there is a, which I have to make a room for his head. So I cut the cuff a little bit here. which usually I do it earlier, before the mayad is there. So this is how it goes. See, it goes over his head now. So that is there. So leave it here for now. Now he has that piece of cloth here. So we still have that piece of cloth here. So what I do is the lung. I take this. Okay. We cover him up and I pull this one out. 
Now, before even we take this one out, we are now presently using uh, a diaper. Usually what we used to do was put the uh, uh, cotton, a lot of cotton underneath and then cover it up also on the top with the cotton. But sometimes even the cotton with najasa it leaks. So we put the diaper on. Then we start with this thing. Okay, so we do this here. There you go. This is your lung. Yes. I have a question. When you see Majasa, you have to wash uh, you have to again first all you know. When you wash it and you're giving gusal when you see anything. No, no. When you do kapha. Yes. When you come from kapha and you see you have najasa, you have to re gusal it or no? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. When you, give, when you wash the body first, then you're giving the gusal. When the last gusal is done, when you're drying it up, and you see any najasa, you have to wash it up, yes. And make it all pack again. But see, what I meant with najasa is sometimes we leave the body for a night. Like let's say somebody dies in the evening, you can't do anything till tomorrow. So sometimes some najasa come out. So now we're putting the diaper in, so we don't know anything whether it has leaked something or not. So but that is fine. That's uh, But if you see, if you see, you have to. Yes, yes. Because uh, it's not like passing. Like no, 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 no. If you see it, and not only that, even if you see the coffin gone dirty with the najasa, you have to change the whole kafan again. Again, you have to do the three also? No, just wash it. Just wash it. And change the kafan completely. Yeah. Kafan cannot be washed, right? You cannot wash it. I would not wash it. Throw it. I think one must have a spear, sort of. Some like you see, we, we are here, we have a lot of kafan. Like, yes. See, what we usually have, we have a lot of the whole roll of material. Every time something happens, we cut it out of it. Like less about 20, 30 uh, mayas, and then we buy another roll. If we don't have extra kafan, then can we uh, just wash the one which is uh, not good? You can wash it, but then again you'll have to wait for it to dry and all this. You can wash it, yes. Yeah, but like blood, it will leave the stain, so you may as well have to cut it out. I think the best thing is when you are preparing this system, have extra piece of clothes uh, to do anything which you may need it again. Have some extra piece of chadar and some clothes. That's the best thing. Yeah, you, know, you always keep it because you see you have here. And it's not a big thing. Just cut it out to the size you want, and you we are ready to go again. Simple. Some people they have bring their coffins from Karbala. Yes. What happens if that gets digested and then what happens? You have to take it out or cut that piece out. See, like let's say if it is only like here, some patch here. So you cut that part out. It's very simple. Cut. And also when you, see, I, I'm going to show it there also later on. Like, you see, when you, this uh, kafan from Karbala, and it is written with a lot of, yeah. So it should not go beyond that part. It should be here. If it is long, what you usually do is nowadays, once this is done, we put it on it. Sometimes you can wrap it up with it. So like, see, this is a chador. Yes. So underneath you put, first you put the uh, chador from Karbala. Yes. But it make sure it doesn't, like the writing should not go anything beyond his uh, belly button. It should be here. If it's too much, then you just put it on top halfway. The, the best thing is, what I said, for ordinary system, ordinary case, have extra sheets. But uh, for Karbala and all that, make sure that you have done every cleaning properly 
and uh, because for that you cannot change the sheet always. So for that you have done properly, and then finally you wrap the Karbala sheet. So even that's what I said. Once you washed it before you do the cuff, and I said that, like there was a cut here, you clean it up, put a band bandage on it, then tie it up with another bandage, go around it, and tape it. Doesn't matter. So even if still that part is still leaking with the blood, it should not come out. Yes. So you don't even need. I don't think we have ever changed even the cuff on itself. <clears throat> if it is properly done. Properly. Yeah. Especially, see, you have to be very careful with the accident victim and all this because, you know, it could be a leg broken, hand broken, bleeding so many places. See? So that's the main thing. Okay, so... Okay, so we done the loom. We remove this piece. Now we have done the chadar, uh, kameez. The, the last part is the chadar. Okay, so this way again. Now this, I have not cut it, it's long, it's big for him. You want me to cut it out? Can no, I cut it out? Leave it. Leave it like that? Yes. Okay, just in case if you need to, whatever. So I, <coughs> actually, around that much part is no good. So, okay. <coughs> And the last part is, is the amama. <coughs> so you've you done the hunot, you've done the kafan, now you put the amama. Okay, to make it completely done, you wrap this thing up here and you tie it. And when you tie it, make a bow because when you go in, when you're bearing it, you have to open it. So it should be in a bow, like, like you tie your shoelaces. So you tie it here, one should be here. Shouldn't be very, not very tight also, but just tight enough, say like that, just above. And this, then, and the last one is here. Again, like what you did in the foot, just go around and tie it up. And then get the coffin. So that is your coffin. Now, with the Karbala kafan, sometimes, as I said, we don't do it, so when we, before we tie it, we spread, put it on it, on, on, on top of this kafan, and then we tie this thing up. So it's on top. Okay. Yes? <coughs> you always say salawat or no? Salawat. Yadu. Salawat, al -af. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, salawat, you say, you say, al-af, 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 or any istaghfar you can do, doesn't matter. It's better not to talk, okay, because you have a, it's not only one person here, there are about three, four of them. Is it wajib, it's just mustaf for the uh, same? even if you don't say anything, it doesn't matter. So that yeah. so that. The most important part is when you're doing gusal kafan, you see anything on him, on this body. 
That remains with you. Once you, once you leave the Gusar room, it doesn't go to your wife, your mother, father, doesn't matter who. Even if I ask you, how was the mayor? You see, sometimes people ask, the guy was in an accident. Oh, how was the body? Good, everything fine. That's it. You don't discuss anything. What you see it remains with you. It's buried. Finish. Colors. Never ever say anything. Okay, you can say, oh, it was good. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. So, never to discuss your mayat, whatever you did, anything. One thing, one thing, culturally, customary, that uh, when ghusl is done, kafan is done, before it is taken to grave, the relatives and other people, they want to see the face. That is shown. Yes, that's what I leave, leave it open. Yes, it is, once I did the kafan, okay, when you're ready to go, this part is the last part you toy. Now you're ready to go to the uh, Kabrastan. Okay? Or even before the Salat. So you leave this part open, cover everything up up to here, even if there's a bandage, should not be seen. It should be hidden inside. Face is shown. Yeah, so you see, you, everybody can come. You can see the face here. Okay, you go. Once it's done, you cover him up, tie it, put him in the coffin, and he's ready for the Salat Mayat. Once that is done, it goes to the graveyard, Kabrasan. Talkin is done there. Talkin. Okay, you will tell a little detail about Talkin. After that, after that. After yeah, Talkin is done at Kabrasan. Kabrasan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. So Talkin, everything is done at the Kabrasan, and then it's buried. Okay. Now the Tayammum part is you do it on the sand or if you have a pillow which is not Najis, nice pillow, doesn't matter, you tap your hands and you, you're doing Tayammum from here to here. The right hand and the left hand. That is it. Okay, I'm giving Tayammum or I'm doing, even for me sometimes, let's say I am in a gusal. And I don't have time <clears throat> to do the gusal and the namaz time is going, I can do the time by myself. But I have to do, do that namaz kaza also. But for, for the maya that I'm talking is, you tap your hands three times on the sand and you go from forehead to his face, all the way. from here <laughs> to here. And the right hand and the left hand. They have always done when you cannot perform the proper ghusal. For example, if the body is too much injured and broken. That's correct. And if it is burned, like, like there was fire. Correct. Burnt or anything. Listen, even somebody is in war, like in Iran, Iraq, war body comes out, which is impossible to give a ghusal. So tayammum. Sometimes they don't even give tayammum because they, they call it, it's a shahid. So, but if you can do it, do it. Otherwise? When you get a mayat uh, person, uh, you have to wuzu, you know, tarat wuzu yourself. Because yes. Before you do something. Not before, after. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. See, now, okay, somebody dies, I'm here. I don't have to do gusas right now. No, no, you have to make a wuzu. That time you. Uh, no, no. No wuzu, no, gus, no gusal for me. I don't have to, I, I should be Pak. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Okay? So I have given Gusal to this man. I touched his body. And at home, you must, have you must have touched, maybe it's your father, mother, your wife, your brother, sister, and you know, you touch the dead body. So you have to give a Gusale Masse Mayat, like Gusal for touching the Mayat. Wajib Kurbatan. Before you pray the Namas. Like let's say now very soon we'll have Maghrib time and we did a gusal here. So either I run home, do the gusal, and then come for Jamaat or I do it by Salah at home, separate. But gusal must say mayat. Gusal for touching the mayat, for the dead body. Wajib kurbatan. Anybody who gives gusal. Once the gusal is given, now you touch him, no problem. 
was Gusal, everything is done with the Maya, then you touch him, then it's okay. Okay. Uh, before uh, doing the Gusal, I mean, not the Maya, yourself, if you touch anybody... So, it's okay. So that no, person, no, no, that's no okay. need to have Gusal or something? I said, no. I did the Gusal just now, for the Maya. You come, I shook your hands. Yeah. No problem. You are okay. Yeah. That's okay. Even even my hands were wet. Doesn't matter. But I have to do the good sir. Any questions? Any questions on the lady's side? Is the lady the same way you cover or it's different? I'm sorry? Is the lady the same way you cover? Ladies? Yeah. No. Oh. Kind of is more or less same. Oh. But there are a few more pieces. There's a piece here. Uh, instead of amama, they have uh, the scarf, the chador, uh, hijab, that's it. And also, they cover, they make a kind of an underwear thing for the ladies. Do you do it to the uh, mass? If the still blood is coming, what's happened with the kafan? You could change the kafan or that's, that's enough? If the blood is coming? Yeah, from the body, is still bleeding. Uh, Blood is coming. From where? From the Maya? Yes. That's what I said. Wherever the blood is coming, you take care of it, you take care of it before you give the cup. No, oh, if you can wash it or rebind it, you know, the body is very bad. Just to give it a mass, right? Yeah, that's when the body is very bad. Yeah. When, I, when we cannot give the gusal to the Maya, that's when the tayamum comes in. Yeah. But then you wrap it up in a plastic and then put the cup on it and that's fine. better. Otherwise, you see, the body is bleeding all over. So, once you put the plastic and all this and you tie it properly and then you put the cuff on. But that is very rarely happens here. You don't need this. Yes. a guide for Somebody wrote something about that? About what? About how the procedure happened to the Maya for I think there, yes, yes, yes. I think there is a book. There is a booklet on there from Malana Rizvi in Toronto. I think so. I I know he was doing it, whether it's ready or not. But he was definitely doing it. There's a guide, the whole guide. There's a book about it. Rizwa, Rizvi. When is um, Maya? This is very bad, and you put in plastic, right? So you you don't need that to. The first and second part, just the third part, you just wrap it. What do you mean, second part? Just this, just wrap it the, the last piece of the coffin. You don't need to three mm. part three Depending, you see, up till now we haven't come abo across a body like that. We have done with an uh, accident and all this, but uh, it was manageable. We did a lot of patchwork. Okay. Well, not just wrap it like this, after plastic, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's okay because you see the body is completely mangled. Yeah. Sometimes you even tie it and you don't even do cover. <coughs> yeah. You have special clothing to wear for this. For this procedure you need it you need your We need uh, see you need, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we wear the apron and all this, and then whatever clothes I'm wearing right now, uh -huh. I have to get it washed because it's nudges, because the water has splashed on me. So you take the clothes, you wash it. But yes, we wear apron, we wear, like during the COVID time, we used to wear all this mask, uh, the face covering, and then PPE, like the complete suit. So now it's been easy a little bit, so, but we still wear the suit. The uh, suit which is uh, made of plastic, the whole yeah, body suit. And one person should do the operation or uh, how you ask for help to give you and someone? For the gusa? Yeah. No, no, we need three, four people. Three, four, and they have to be adult? They have to be in... Any? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. I don't know, like Balik. Balik. Yeah. And they have to be made to do this? Okay. They, they, they take part also because, you see, I, I cannot lift the body myself. See, now I have to do the gusar. 
in the back. I can't take the water and lift the body because see, even the guy is there, somebody has to hold the head because even the head has to be held. So one guy holds the head and when we are turning, he hold, turns it. And the other two guys, like let's say, they, they are on this side, when they want to do it, they go from this side. They lift it up from here. And then we do the gusal in the back. And the washing, everything. So no, yeah, definitely you need two, three guys. At least minimum three. You can have more than three. You can have more than three, but don't take too many. Four or five, but that's it. A lot of them should be Muslim. I'm sorry? Yes. Yeah, it's better to have Muslim guy. If you don't have... If I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if you don't have, like I'm in a foreign country somewhere and I need help, there's no kitab where I can ask somebody to help me, which is not bad. Because I'm doing the procedure, they're helping me. Okay, anybody want to come close up and see how it is done? Yeah, please, welcome. I'll show you again what is, how it is done, please. From the sister's side, if there's questions as well, we can each other ask them. So, that you want to come close to you, is okay? Get a coffee, please. There's no coffee in here. So, basically, there's the... Uh, the shalwar and the kameez and then the last chadar basically. Yeah, so this the long, is the long part. The long, yeah. uh, the kameez and the chadar. These three it pieces. Has to be half, like three. Three pieces are wajib. Wajib, okay. Doesn't matter what, they are wajib. Okay. It's not wajib, but it's, it's a must. It's good to it's a, no, it's not good, it's a must. It's a must. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is just a shirt. This is shirt. This is the part. This is separate part. This is your lung. Okay. So this. Yeah. Does it have to be a white cloth? Oh yes. Supposedly you are in a foreign place where you don't have all of those. You have to. You have to get a white. It's better. White, white, white. Nothing. And this also when you cough on. You cannot use scissors. You cannot use knife. Okay, a little bit you cut it, then you pull it out with the hand. Okay, so always remember, kafan, you're cutting it, you have to cut it with the hand. So, okay, this I can't do it, so what I do, I put a little notch here with a knife or a knife or scissor like or whatever, Aram. and then I go yeah. around. Just like a ram. Yeah, because yeah. I. Yeah. So, with the uh, sign, you know, someone's picture is that. See, he, he just mentioned ihram. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing you mentioned. You can make your coffin with your ihram also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need a chadar. No, no, I meant See, the ihram part is here. Yeah. The top part is here. You just have to cut the yeah. neck part. And you can use that as a kameez. No, I meant you went white color. That's why I was telling you. Yeah, ihram, yeah. white color. It has to be white. But no, but now as you mentioned, you can have ihram as your kafan also. If you've been to Hajj, I would like love to have my ihram because it's gone around the Kaaba. Yeah, yeah. It's Amama very nice. Huh? Yeah, th this you. No, you can use separate. Even this, you'll have to use the separate, the chadar. But the two piece, you can do it. Private bar, okay. Like you see, we had this uh, piece of cloth here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, even I don't see. It, okay. We splash the water like with the pump. Don't touch it. Okay. No. Don't it's touch it. Even even if I wear a gloves or anything. Yeah. As per Agar Sistani, he said, no, you don't touch it. You splash it, do everything. The same thing in the back. You splash. Something coming out from the back. What what do you need to do? You splash it. Just water. Yeah, splash it. Oh, yeah. Usually it is out. 
yeah. from the hats. But what about uh, if it needs to be shaved, the private part? Shave? No, we don't do it. That's his, that's his responsibility. When he's alive, you know, you have to do it before 30 days, everything. Yeah, but what if they... We don't expect, you know, all of these, you know, and, and, and rules of, you know. Yeah, no, we don't do that. But that's not a wajib part, right? If, if somebody... It's not wajib. Nothing to do with us, with the Gusar government. That's his responsibility. Suppose if he doesn't do it, he and his Allah knows. And his hair falls off. Yeah. It is recommended to put it with the cuff and put it right. No, no. Just to be careful, yeah. like not. Not really, no. Okay. No. How oh, about the rings and the jewelry and stuff that he carries in there? Yeah, that I should have mentioned it. When you, when the body comes, yeah. as as I took the permission from you, yeah. like the next of kin, okay. if he has a ring, we have to remove it. I see. Dentures. Yes. We have to remove it. But now the thing is closed, you can't remove it, you leave it. Okay. But any foreign body, you have to remove it. The rings, the, any jewelry on him. Rings, if they have on their nose. Everything, you remove it and you but give it. doesn't come out. Break it. Cut it. Cut it. A kick. A kick. Yeah, see, a kick like this. Everything is done, you put a kick in there. In the mouth. Yeah. If you have it. If you don't have it, it's okay. But it's recommended. Okay, you put it in the mouth. So. And uh, without cough or anything else, that we, we can spray him with, with some perfume, you know? No, no, no. Not, no, no, not allowed. Like Hajj, you can't do anything. Like Hajj, you, can you, you do the perfume? Well, there is one kind of. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 there's no kind. No. No perfume. Something on the nose Cotton. Cotton. We plug it. Sometimes the thing coming out, so we plug it. And so the ear. Ear, no. Unless something coming out. Somebody has a question here. If you cannot find the hunut, well, is it wajib to put the hunut if you cannot find it? What you do? You can. It's camphor. If you can't find it. Camphor, you get it anywhere. Any drugstore you go. Any, any anywhere pharmacy. in the world. Any pharmacy. Okay, any pharmacy. Iran, Iraq, Iran, Iraq so everywhere you go. Even for the so camphor they you use know, for medicine you know, also. You know, in in like hospitals that. also yeah, they use. Yeah, for see, some kind of their... Camphor and Hunut, they are the same thing? Hunut is a procedure of doing the Hunut. Camphor is a material. I don't know if you have camphor here. It's here. Yeah, it's there. Okay, he'll show you camphor. Can you show that? That's what I see. This is okay with the camphor. But supposedly, supposedly we're in a place where you don't have the access of this. It's in that bag. Oh, this is where, yeah. Can we use some kind yeah. of, you know? Yes. yes. No, you don't use, but Stop. this is guaranteed you get everywhere. Okay? Now, if you don't, if you don't get it, if it's a problem, real dire problem, <coughs> you do the niyat and you're giving uh, hunot to this mayat with camphor, uh, with camphor, uh, like uh, kurbatan, but it is not camphor. I'm just putting my hand, uh -huh. or if you have a little bit of kake shifa, okay. just rub it on him. Yeah. Seven, please. Seven, please. Don't put it here. I would not put the kake shifa on the toes. This is mixed with water or just like? Just, just like that. Just by itself? Yeah, just crush it, crush it, powder it, and then do it. You do it with the, with the gloves, obviously, because it smells, huh? Yeah. Wife wouldn't like See? it, you know, when you go home, she will not they, let they, you go there. In India, people, they burn it yeah. well in their house. See? So, so this is a cube, you crush it. You, you crush this. Okay. Make like sugar. Okay. Okay, and then you have a, the powder, you just... The same thing, the, sorry. The same thing you are using for gusar, is for the gusar of camphor. Remember I said there's three gusar. Yeah. One is berry leaves water, the second is camphor, and the third is plain water. The berry leaf is here. Berry leaf, what do you find? Here? Okay. 
There's a limit how much you put it. This is a limit how many pieces of that you can crush it, or just one piece is enough for one mayat? Two or three pieces is enough. You can use more, doesn't matter. It smells nice. Not for smell, but it preserves the body, it says. Okay. Okay, so, but, it, yeah, but, but, see, if it, it is right. Cedar, yeah, yeah. From there, from there, from here, not from there. No? From head, two hands, two knees, and the last two, two toes. You can't start there. I know, I know, I know, just like that's No, 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 here. Everything starts from the head. When the food and the body leaves, you put them in the bucket and then... Yeah. In the bucket? Yeah. So... Say... You... Excuse me. Everybody, attention there. See, Gosal time, we're giving Gosal with camphor water. You take three or four of these, you put a couple of uh, bucket, you crush it, I mix it and start the gusa. The same thing, this one here, we tie it because it's all over the place, so maybe one or two of these, you put it in the water, mix it. Yeah, the water is uh, like, you know, like uh, this kind of spray water. Yeah. It's not what our amount. So of, there's yeah. two times. You have the bucket, okay. and then you do it, or you have the spray, which uh -huh. we have spray. So we can spray but we have, and then bum, bum, bum. No, no. We have a machine. Uh -huh. we, there's a tank, separate tank for camphor, for leaves, okay. and the plane. Uh -huh. So when we want to do this, we open this tap. Okay. So it comes out. We, we put this in the tank there. So then we have the spray. But the first one doesn't count the one that we do uh, soap, soap and cleaning. No, that's, no, that's, a, that's a plain water. Plain, with plain water, you're washing it just like thing come out from the tap. You can use a soap or... Soap, yes. When you first one, you wash it with the soap, water. No, 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 you just, this is just washing. Okay. Making the body Making clean. The body. Because I'm, I'm, uh, like you see, you take the bandage off, it's sticky. Sometimes you have to use some medication to remove the stickiness also. Then you wash it with soap and water. It has to be cleaned. Yeah? Cleaned. No, no scent. Yeah, no scent. Soap should not be any scent here. Just plain soap. Without any scent. No shampoo. No smell. No smell. Yeah, no scent means no smell. Plain, plain soap. Clarify that to everybody. Clarify that to everybody. Excuse me, one one other thing you have to clarify with everybody. So when you, when listen, excuse me, listen to him first. When you're washing the body, you use the soap, which should not smell. Should be without smell. No, These are leaves inside, you won't see anything. Just the leaves, yeah. Don't open the door. No, no, it's the leaves inside. Yeah. He will explain you what leaves are. Where they, they come from India and I don't know, all different places. You use the smell of it and then you open it. That's why we closed it and kept it closed. No one. You open it and it loses its smell and then... What the power? Loses the power? What do you have to have the smell of it. You have to have the smell of it. I'll explain. Cedar can't be very late. He's saying that back home, they used to have trees, big trees. Back home? Yeah. yeah, you can use. Yeah, no, no, they use. Yeah, that's the same. Cedar, cedar, eh? Cedar. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same. Deep of cedar? Yeah, yeah. What is this? 
We get this in Toronto from uh, Lebanese store, Iranian store. Okay. Okay. Before we talk anything, you have any more questions? So I can, I can raise this my up. <laughs> When you put the body in the grave, yeah. you have to open it. Why? Okay. Well, why do keep it? Why? No, we can't make, keep it tight because he has to sit up. He has to go question answers. Oh. If he's tied up, how is he going to go? <laughs> Yeah, the question. Yeah, what is it? Untie the tools as well. Untie the tools. This here, the. Yeah, 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 everywhere. Here, here, all. But the cover and everything remains same. It remains in its place. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Remember us in your prayers. So there's three people. Very simple, very easy. Everybody can do it. I have got one question. I just did some. We call, uh, we call the first part, we call the Tamiz, the other one we call Izar. Izar, eh? Izar. Where is the other one? Izar. Izar. Okay. Izar. Izar. Ah, okay, Izar. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me. That's an Arabic, yeah. But you okay. say, when you, even, the, even this Izar, when you tie it, you put the left in, yeah. the right out. And then, no, the part here, when you... You but see, I only miss one thing in, right. in here. How do you put the Azar into him? You know, I, we couldn't see from the back there. Okay. How we, how we, put, we put these two pieces first, correct? We make a hole in here, this, correct? Yes. Like this. That's your kameez. Okay. Kameez. okay. And then, this is Azar. This is Azar. So it's like... He's already put it there. It's so I, I didn't see it. Now. Yeah, okay. It was here. So, yeah. See, so like Just this. Like yeah. this. Okay. Azar is yeah. like this. Yeah. Okay. Left so, first and right. So yeah. when the body is there... Yeah. He is like this here. Okay. Um, yeah. See, like this is behind. Yeah. Yeah. So I go the left part. Uh, then the I right go the right, right part. Same like Hajj. Okay, just I just have some clarification to make here. Uh, okay, now thank you very much, Brother Muhammad. Uh, for your demonstration. If there's any other questions from ladies' side or Jen's side, please do it now before we go for a little further on. No? No, thank you. No questions? Okay. Uh, I'm very pleased to announce to let everybody know that Brother Azim Anwar is going to be the uh, chief in charge of uh, the Gusal Kafan Committee. Those who want to join him in the committee, please give your names to Brother Azim so he can have the list with your phone numbers and also, God forbid, if there is a Mayat, then who you can contact either Azim Bay or if he is not available, those people that you have given their names, what we'll do is once we get all the names and clarify it, we will make a big list of it and, and then keep it in the file. We'll have one copy here and one. I will have a copy also with me. And the lady said also, uh, I'll, I'll ask Sister Tuba uh, if she can become a ch in charge of the lady side, please. Can I have your confirmation? Yes. Thank you very much. So from the lady side, it will be Sister Tuba. And you will please find your own committee, uh, whoever wants to join you. And please, this is a voluntary yes. work and it's a wajib come, so please don't hesitate. Anybody who can do it, please do it. I will be there too. I'm going to, I'll, I'll have my name also on the list. So, uh, give me one more. Yes? Sorry. Okay. Who is Azim? Azim is rather not there. Oh, Azim. 
Yes. Here's Once. this this cuff, and I put everything together. Yeah. The only part is this yeah, yeah. was a little big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to yeah, cut yeah. about yeah, yeah. <coughs> that much piece. Again, <coughs> excuse me. Coffin is maybe you may have to go a different way. Me, I come up, I see the body. And there's a man, I come and see the body. Okay, I see this. Okay, he's a kind of a, he's a medium size, so I cut it according. Sometimes the guy is big, so you have to cut a little more. Sometimes the guy is. Yeah, every, no, if it is big, you have to cut big because you see, you can't just leave a So sometimes the body is short also. There's a child. So then you figure out what you're going to need. Simple way I can tell you is like, let's say, you and him, you look at his body for, oh, okay, this will fit me. So you can measure it for yourself. and. Leave a little extra. The extra, always extra. Always. So, that's how I do it. I, I don't have no measurements. Okay, this is for this, this is for that. So, it would be very recommended if we have to start with these, okay? So that we have, we, that's we have, that's we have two copies. We have two coffins here ready. That, that's why I know this one. Brother is the in charge. He has to know how many pieces that he has to put Yeah, this is why I, I put everything to... Yeah. That's why I put everything. Yes. There's the kameez, the ezar. And uh, Amama, everything is there. Uh -huh. Now One this, One you keep it. So you know what you need. Okay, tie it up. So this one will keep it as a sample one to give see me, me what you need. Uh, yeah. And then there is another one ready also. Uh, I think we have got two, right? Two coffins yeah. there? You need, you need three of these, yeah? Yeah. Is it the one I'm giving? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we... So if that we one, if, if we don't don't open it, don't open it now. If we find volunteers to do, you know, stuff like this, too, you know, so it's getting ready and all you Yeah, can, but see, the you thing is, if you keep it ready, then you don't know what size you'll need. You need no, small no, or big. No, no, listen, you cut in a size, sometimes we keep it. You, 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 right, right. you can, all, the only thing is you may need to cut the little bit piece Which here and there. So, large. Yeah. okay, so, so we have yeah, a large one, the one there, too. Today. There's another large one there, too, also. And uh, I think there's one more also in there. So, yes, Agajan, you have something to say? Cotton, cotton. Not something else. Cotton. My question is I was just going to mention that. Okay, one other thing. One, one other thing. Next week, inshallah, we are going to go to the uh, cemetery which is uh, memory guidance on Guelph so Road going towards Guelph. Charge, uh, we are I'll on Highway 7. Yes, it's possible to ask him to talk with the yeah. Yeah. Next week, we are going to go to see the memory guidance, which is the, uh, the cemetery there, which is on Highway 7. We are going to go there. If anybody is interested to come with it, we are going to be maybe just two or three of us going there. To see it, uh, Zimbai, me, myself, and uh, maybe another two people can come. So, yeah, okay. So just let him know. Okay. So we'll go there and we just want to check then, uh, discuss, because we need to buy some more uh, covers and we will need to, to open up the donation for it also. So please uh, let Zimbai know who all are going to be coming there to see. And then once we get all the confirmation and everything, uh, one Thursday night and one Juma, we are going to announce everything, the prizes of how much they want for the covers and uh, what kind of deal they can give us as, as, and how many we can buy. So please, 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 I'm requesting everybody to be ready for it. This is, we have to go one day, everybody has to, so please be prepared for that. Okay, just, okay, everybody, just.
No, not for the night, for the person who wash it. If nobody help him, what is he going to do? Sultan, the cemetery you will announce that is coming Friday when you are going to do let yeah, Azimbai will find out and then I will check with them, see what day they are available. Okay, whenever they are available, we have to go. It's going to take us maybe just half an hour or so, one hour, but it'll probably be in the afternoon sometimes. Okay, okay, one, just one clarification here. We have everybody, please, I need some, everybody's attention here. Please, okay, this bag contains all that we need for the funeral except the the cotton and the, the buckets that we need. Now, the cottons are in here. This is going to stay here at the IHS office here. Azimba is going to know where it is. I will know it. Abu Ali is going to know. Murtaza Bai is going to know. <coughs> so if there is any mayat or anybody, you contact either one of us, and then we will tell you where the fun is. Inshallah, once we move into the new place, which is going to be Next year, inshallah, there we are going to have a gusal kafan room. Everything is going to be there. So we'll just take this bag there and keep it there all the time. But uh, the new place. The new. So right now, this bag. We, right now, we are looking at one uh, uh, funeral home, which is on Ottawa in Westmount Road. Uh, it used to be the. Behind Fre Freshco, yeah. It used to be Rats Bechtel Funeral Home, which was on uh, King Street. They, this is their subsidiary, and we have got some arrangements with them that we can take the mayat there, and then they will do everything. Like whenever there is a mayat, if it's in the hospital, all I do is I'll phone them, or Azimbay, I will give him all the information and everything. We will phone them, and they will bring the mayat to, to the funeral home from the hospital or wherever, and then we go and give the gusal. And then once the gusal is done, then we can either leave there and have the namaz mayat and everything there, and then take it to the funeral home, to the kabrastan, or we can take it to the kabrastan.